It's simple time! This is Chef Tatong at magluluto naman tayo na isang resto favorite na i-replicate natin dito sa ating simple kusina. Ready na ba kayo? Let's get cooking! Simple, simple, luto na ha -ha. Today we will be making a beef dish from one of my favorite Chinese restaurants. Sobrang niyang simple yung gawin pero we never cook it at home. Bakit? Kasi hindi part ng ating Filipino repertoire itong recipe na to. Pero ngayon susubukan natin i-replicate dito sa ating simple kusina. Ready na ba kayo? Eto, we will be using beef sirloin. Usually ito, meron naman tayo dito sa bahay. Gumagamit tayo na pang beef steak natin. Eto, pang beef steak natin. Beautiful cuts of beef from fresh options. But this time, yung gagawin natin dito ay ikakat natin siya into strips. Tatabi ko lang to. The key in cooking beef kasi is to cut it across the grain. No? Kasi kung ito yung hibla ng karne, kontra grano ka pumutol. Huwag mong putulin sabay sa grano or else it's going to be more chewy. No? So kahit na maganda pa yung quality ng beef mo, but if it's not prepared properly, magiging tough din siya because you're trying to chew on the grain itself. Yan. So, cutting into strips, signan mo ha yung gawa ko. Not too thin. Yan, siguro mga 1 fourth inch yung thickness niya. And I'm using around 350 grams of beef. So, this one, pag naluto to, it will be good for around 4 people na. Okay, put it in my... I will marinate my beef with a little soy sauce. So, I'm using 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Just regular soy sauce. And I add 5 spice powder. So, yung 5 spice powder, it's actually made of 5 spices, no? So, it's 5 spice. It literally translates to ngoyong in Chinese. That's why it's called, also called ngoyong powder. And it can be found in most of our spice sections of the grocery store. If you don't have 5 spice powder, you can also use regular black pepper. You can use cayenne. Or you can use star anise and just pound it, no? Pero here I'm using uh, the 5 spice powder and I will also grate. Ayaw kong i-chop, ayaw kong I'm just going to grate my garlic. So, it's very fine no, when we incorporate into my marinade. And I have some ginger as well. My ginger, what I did in my ginger is, it's already peeled. No? Binalatan ko niya yung ginger. And um, it's wrapped in you know plastic wrap. And I just keep it in the freezer. So every time I need some ginger, I just get a piece and grate it. No? After that, I just wrap it again and put it back in the freezer. And so I just get my grated ginger. Let it marinate for at least 5 to 15 minutes. Hindi naman kailangan sobrang tagal ng ating marinade. And we add cornstarch. No? So we add our cornstarch in two batches. So first, we add around 2 tablespoons. Or a little bit more. As I said earlier, we will fry the beef. So, tingnan natin na. I think that's good enough. I get my beef in batches. I just one hand and toss it around. So, hindi natin gusto na maging very watery yung ating slurry, ating marinade. Because if we do that, what will happen is that hindi mag-crisp up. So, we fry it in batches. So, we don't fry everything all at once. Kasi... If you put everything agad sa ating oil, what will happen is the temperature of the oil will go down and instead of becoming crisp, it will become soggy because the beef will absorb all the oil. No? Move the excess starch and we begin to fry. We can fry this probably in three batches. Yeah. So, you will notice that when after frying it for a few minutes, medyo nagiging less uh, aggressive da yung oil natin, no? Medyo hindi na siya masyadong maingay. Ibig sabihin, medyo crisp na yung ating beef. We also don't want to overcook it kasi magiging sobrang makunat. And it's not gonna taste very nice. So, eto tama lang tong texture na to. So, I begin to remove my, you know, beef and set it aside. And I put it aside. Let it drip so that the excess oil, we remove the excess oil, and I fry the next batch. 
So remember to allow the heat of your oil to recover after you remove the last batch. You let it heat up again to good temperature of around 180 to 190 degrees before adding the last batch. Okay? So remember, don't add anything into your oil unless it's hot enough or else your beef or the food will become soggy. And while I'm waiting for that, I will already start on my glaze. So, I'm heating a pan here. And it's very simple to do. I just have a half cup of honey. Yan, malapot na siya, di ba? So, we just let it simmer a little bit more. And we add oyster sauce. So, this is around a tablespoon of oyster sauce. I have a tablespoon of soy sauce. And to give it a nice color, we're going to use banana ketchup. Just two tablespoons of banana ketchup. A tablespoon of vinegar. So we're just mixing it up for it to, you know, thicken a bit more. And I will add some, just a little bit of color, just a little bit of julienne carrots. Yan. Some white onions, no? Julienne white onions as well. So yan na yung ating sauce. So we let that cook, no? And caramelize a little bit more to thicken beef is almost done yeah exciting beautiful yeah i'm so happy and look at that paano malalaman na medyo thick na yung ating uh, sauce or ating glaze is that you will notice that tingnan mo the bubbles are more smaller no Finishing that with a little bit of black pepper. I'm just gonna crack some black pepper to finish. And sesame oil for that little glaze. Yeah. Sesame oil. Ah. Surely, sobrang sarap nito with really yung steaming rice. Oh my God. And now, what we do is, the last thing we do is just add our beef. Yan. Yan. Careful. Hindi kasama ang papel sa ating recipe. Yan. So, mag-ingat tayo and we toss. Yan. Turn off the heat and glaze, glaze, glaze. Look at that. And let's plate a little. Lalagay ko lang ng konti dito. Yan. And look at that. And lalagyan din natin siya ng konting toasted sesame seeds. And look at that. Resto favorite achieved sa ating simple kitchen. Ang sarap niya tignan. Tandaan nyo, kahit sino kaya magluto. Basta simple. Here it is, our version of the sweet, sticky, crispy beef dish. Ala din taifong simple! Did you enjoy this video? Please follow and subscribe to our official pages. And of course, tag a friend as well.